Today, we also learned of the death of former President Trump's oldest sibling, uh, his older sister, uh, Marianne Trump Berry. She was a respected federal judge in New Jersey for most of her career. She was on what's called senior status on the bench when her younger brother was elected president in 2016. Senior status is a sort of semi-retirement that federal judges can stay in basically forever. But Marianne Trump Berry did a very unusual thing when her brother was president. She gave up senior status and resigned from the judiciary altogether. That was in 2019. It happened right after the New York Times exposed her role in what the paper described as a decades-long pattern of the Trump family engaging in what was alleged to be massive systemic tax fraud. Uh, Judge Barry was alleged to be not just a financial beneficiary of the family's tax fraud, but, quote, she was in a position to influence the actions taken by her family. Now, that is a serious moral and potentially legal allegation against anybody in any line of work. But if you're a federal judge, that is a serious ethics allegation for a sitting federal judge. I mean, those kinds of allegations, if proven, would certainly violate the judicial code of conduct that applies to all federal judges other than the Supreme Court. Um, and, and so in the wake of the New York Times reporting on Judge Barry's involvement in this massive alleged tax fraud with her brother, President Trump, and other members of the Trump family, the court that she sat on actually started investigating this as an ethics matter. And 10 days after the court confirmed that they had started investigating her for this alleged ethics breach, she resigned from the bench. She gave up her lifetime tenure as a judge. That is the one sure way she could call off that investigation because judicial conduct rules don't apply to retired judges. So she retired suddenly and without explanation 10 days after the investigation was announced and that killed the investigation. It is honestly one of the most serious substantive scandals ever associated with a presidential family member. And we have had some doozies. But, I mean, a lifetime, giving up lifetime tenure on the federal bench to avoid the investigation into the serious decades-long tax fraud allegations laid out against you with documentation in the New York Times, specifically, it seemed, designed in, that retirement designed in such a way to stop the investigation and let her get away with it? I mean, that, like I said, we've had some doozies when it comes to presidential family members' ethics problem, but this ranks right up there. That said, with this particular former president, this was like the 489th most serious scandal associated with him. And so it instantly became totally obscure trivia, basically, as soon as it happened. But it happened. And Marianne Trump Berry uh, passed away last night at home in New York City. She was 86 years old. And I, I tell that story in part because I think there's an, there is an important point here that relates in some ways to today's news. And it's the point about an, an institution, in this case an institution like the court, policing itself. Right? There was no criminal case that was ever brought based on the Trump Organization alleged fraud that was described by the New York Times in that series back in 2019. And no, I don't know why that is. I don't know why that was never the basis of a, a prosecution of Trump or his family members or his business. But whether or not there were ever going to be criminal charges brought against Judge Barry or former President Trump or anyone else involved in that alleged fraud, Still, you had this, this institution, you had the judiciary, you had the court itself where Judge Barry worked, starting an investigation into the matter. And that investigation, depending on how it went, could very well have resulted in her being censured as a judge or reprimanded or even impeached and removed off the bench. And the reason that sort of sword of Damocles was hanging over her and that forced her into an unexpected retirement as a judge is because that institution decided to police itself. The judiciary has an interest as an institution in policing itself, in maintaining its own standards, in policing its own members to make sure they stand up to the values that are professed by that institution. And that dynamic, institutions policing themselves, 
upholding their values as institutions, policing their own members, holding their own representatives accountable for violation of the rules and the ethos of those organizations, regardless of the legal issues, regardless of the criminal law, that institutional self-policing is a really important thing in our country and in every other.